Hi, this is Steve with Homestrung Jewelry. Easter is just around the corner, so today we're going to make these pave and pearl bunnies which can be used either as earrings or as a pendant. To make each bunny, you're going to need four inches of 26 gauge wire. This is silver plated, enameled. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crystal pave bead, an eight millimeter glass pearl, a four millimeter glass pearl, and then you're gonna need two rice that are roughly four by eight millimeters. To use the bunny as a pendant with a necklace, you'll also need a chain, three jump rings, and a clasp. If you wish to make earrings, you'll double, of course, all of the items which we've shown here, and you'll need a pair of French wires. As far as tools go, you're gonna to need a pair of cutters. You're gonna need chain nose pliers, and then round nose pliers. We'll start by putting the four millimeter pearl onto the wire and bringing it to the middle. And you can pinch the wire around the sides of the bead to hold it, hold it in place. We'll next add the 10 millimeter pave bead over both wires. Add the eight millimeter pearl. and then separate the two wires and pull it tight to kind of anchor it into place. Take one of the, of the rice beads and pull it down close against the, the glass pearl bead. And then using your round nose pliers, we're gonna make a wrapped loop, a small loop at the top of this. If you need help making a wrap loop, we'll have a link at the bottom that shows you, that will direct you to an instruction sheet on how to make a wrap loop. Make this loop as small as you can with a minimum number of wraps. I'm going to go about two wraps on this one. And then using the flush cutters, we're going to cut the tail off of this. So that you've got a little tiny loop there. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Put the four by eight rice bead onto the wire, pull it in tight. Use the round nose pliers to make a tiny little wrapped loop. I'm going to grab onto the loop with my chain nose pliers and again I'm just going to do one and a half to two wraps. Trim the tail off, bring your ears up, straighten the tail around a little bit, and there you've got your bunny. Now what I usually do is I take one of these wrapped loops and fold it over. Kind of use the side of the pliers and just bend it down. With the other wrapped loop, we can turn this into either an earring or into a pendant. 
for an, a pendant, all we need to do is we're going to add a jump ring onto the extra loop. Close the jump ring. Run a chain through the jump ring. Add jump rings to each end of the chain. Adding a clasp to the second jump ring. And there we have a bunny pendant. To make an earring, we take an ear wire, open it up, insert the loop from the bunny onto the ear wire. Close the loop, and we have a bunny earring. Once you know how the earring is going to hang, uh, where there's some debate as to which way we should put the tail, I like to push it forward, but let us know down in the comments. And here we have your new Easter jewelry, three bunnies. A listing of all the materials that are needed for this project are in the notes below. There's also links if you'd be interested in complete kits that have all of the materials and printed instructions on how to make the bunny earrings and the bunny necklace. Those links will be down below as well. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more jewelry instructions, we encourage you to subscribe and also hit the like button. Thank you and we'll see you again soon.